guys, I'm Nicola from Brad Nicola's Story. Um, as you guys probably know, Brad had stage 4 esophageal cancer, which had metastasized into his lungs and his liver. Um, he had five sessions of chemo. He had five sessions of chemo, and um, when he went in for the sixth session and they checked, they were having a hard time finding the tumor markers. Um, they thought the machine was broken. And they did find that he does still have cancer. It's gone from his lungs and his liver dose. It's substantially smaller than his lymph glands. We don't even know if it's in his lymph glands anymore. And the esophageal tumor itself went from 210 to 41. Um, and um, yeah, four more points and he will be at 37, which would be normal for a normal person without cancer. So really hopeful that what we're doing is right. And um, this is part of what we do. Um, it's called a mushroom tincture. Um, a tincture is a, an extraction of the properties from these mushrooms. Um, we use alcohol. He used um, vodka, 40% vodka. We don't have vodka right now. Um, and we usually get the cheapest stuff you can find. Um, right now we have Everclear, which is what we've been using to make the oil because it's 190 proof. So 95% alcohol. So with this, what we can do, because we want to have at least 40% alcohol in here, um, so what we'll do is we'll have uh, an equal cup of water to a, a cup of the Everclear, a glass of the Everclear. That way we know we're going to be at like 45% alcohol. I'm going to be grand. Okay, so there's five types of mushrooms. One of them I don't have right now, but that's the shiitake mushroom. Uh, one of the properties that's in the shiitake they actually use in chemotherapy, it's an immune booster, um, as all of these are, and these are being used around the world in place of chemotherapy in the, in the East and stuff. Um, great success rates in the lab rats and all of that kind of research. 95% success rate with these guys. These are red reishi mushrooms. They actually call them mushrooms of immortality. Um, they use these in Tokyo in place of chemotherapy. So what we do is I'm going to use this jug. You want something that's, you want them to be left in a dark place and it's going to be 30 days and you're going to shake it vigorously every day. So what we'll do is we're going to have this about oh, half full with mushrooms. So you take these dried mushrooms. I ordered them on Amazon or eBay or wherever is going to be the cheapest. So got a few of these in here. That's your red reishi. These are turkey tails. I believe they grow in Washington. And they're called turkey tails because they literally look like turkey tails. They're very fluffy. They're very fluffy and and stuff and see they have the curve to them so these guys I ordered them online and um, nice these are they're using these in the Middle East and they're grown in America in the United States so we're going to put a few of these in here before I forget probably put, I'll probably put that just the whole bag in because it's close enough Next we have these guys are called maitake mushrooms and there you go mushrooms maitake and then you can see mushroom houses where I bought these. These guys are really big and they fluff up a lot so be aware of that. And that's one big chunk right there. Be aware of that when you're thinking about putting these in. They will fill up the room. I have a mixed bag here. So I'll just take some of it out of here, and uh, so I don't have to open that bag yet. But, uh, yeah. And then the other mushrooms are called chaga mushrooms. There we go. There's a nice big chunk of, of that stuff. And then these chaga mushrooms, I like them. Rick, they're crazy. Um. Don't try putting them in a blender, huh? <laughs> Doesn't work out so well. So this is the chaga mushroom. Bam. C H A G A chaga. Okay, so we've got that there, that, that, 
we're missing the uh, one, two, three turkey tails. Shaga, yeah, that's the four, and we're, and we're missing the shiitakes right now. Okay, so as you can see, it's about half. Could probably put maybe put a few more of the mixture in just get this handled. So what happens is with this is you're going to take it, keep it in the dark, and uh, every day you're going to take it and shake it vigorously and put it back in the dark. And after 30 days, it's going to be ready to take it out and strain it. And uh, yeah, that's good. It's about half. So all of these mushrooms are super immune boosters, which is great. Um, I'm going to do another video explaining the, I think it's six or seven different things that we have going to attack the cancer at different angles, inside out, um, and boosting the immune system is one of these. Um, and it just it allows your bodies, the enzymes, to fight the cancer and stuff. And um, Yeah, so we're going to take a glass of this. I'll do it a glass at a time because so this stuff for us we had to go to the suburbs because it's illegal in Chicago. Um, this handle, which is what a half a gallon, 750 milliliters or whatever, this cost fifteen dollars plus tax. So instead of going out and buying a handle of vodka for fifteen dollars, if you can get a hand of a handle of Everclear and you cut it with water 50 percent it's going to save a bunch of money in the long run and in it goes yeah pop this lid off I'll be much quicker there we go All five of these mushrooms separately um, work really well for cancer and when you put them together they just they all enhance each other and it, it makes everything much more effective. You would take uh, probably two tablespoons a day, make one after, make sure you have a meal first and um, then you have your, you know, or maybe it's going to be twice in the evening depending on work or your situation or whatever because it's alcohol. Um, so there's two of them so far. We'll do one more of each and then that should be plenty. Um, yeah, because I'm going to need this Everclear to make some, uh, I've got more. But I'm going to show you guys how to make some marijuana oil as well this evening. And actually the doctors had asked us to lay back on, on this um, and the Nigella oil for flushing the chemo because they said they thought it was making the chemo too effective. I'm not sure what that means. Um, that was the day that they thought there was something, they actually thought there was something wrong with the machine. Um, we did dial back on it a little bit, but at the same time we're doing, everything we're doing seems to be working so it's kind of hard to change. We did dial back a little bit on the Nigella oil as well, like they asked, but I mean, everything's working so well. I'm just going to keep doing this. So that's what you got there. Three glasses of this, three glasses of water, five types of mushrooms. Make sure it's close up real well and shake vigorously every day, once a day. And after 30 days, you're going to take it out and then you're going to strain out all the vodka. And then you're going to fill it up with water and fill it up with, you can fill it up with some more vodka as well. You want to make sure, because once you, you empty out all the vodka from here and put it into like a separate jar or whatever. Um, and now like this, I got a vodka bottle. Um, so what you would do is you'll separate that and you'll start using that and then you put the water and put some more vodka in. You want to make sure you've got more than 25% alcohol total 
in the second one with the water because um, we need to be able to keep you know fungus and bacteria from being able to grow as long as you got no vodka you're good so just make sure when you put in the water you put in the same amount of vodka if it's going to be the Everclear if it's going to be vodka you're going to want to put like two parts vodka to one part water and then you'll keep shaking that for the month and then you'll have a whole second batch you know and, and it, it turns out well because you know there's more than one person that's only too happy to have some of this around and you can make plenty for like fifteen dollars or thirty dollars you're good for months so that's it that's the whole scoop it's going to go into the dark and be shaken once a day for 30 days and then it ends up looking like this pretty much that's what you're going to get some dark mushroomy vodka -y type of uh, concoction if you don't drink alcohol or if you can't drink any alcohol you can also use vinegar for the extraction but that takes longer um, you could Google um, mushroom vinegar tincture I haven't looked into it yet um, but there, there's other ways of extracting if you can't drink alcohol that's it thank you guys